a closer look. Thrive Life Bakery. Whole Wheat Dough Mix. Hello, 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 you guys, and welcome back to my kitchen. I am having such a fun blast with this series. It gives me a chance to discuss the reasons why I love Thrive Life so much. So, let's get to it. Today, we're taking a closer look at the Honey Whole Wheat Dough Mix. Um, I had this in a haul video a while ago. Um, I've only got just this one. I had bought two of them. I got this one left. We have discovered we love this stuff. Now, I don't use this to make bread because I make my own bread, um, basic bread. I have a whole playlist of basic breads. Um, but we have discovered that we really love this for pizza dough. This is now the only stuff I use for pizza dough. We love it in our house. I am going to keep buying a regular supply of the honey whole wheat dough mix for my house so we can keep having it for pizza dough. I just love it. All right. Oh, and another great thing about this whole Thrive Life pizza dough thing is if you then turn around and take the tomato powder and make a really thick tomato sauce out of the tomato powder and add a little tiny bit of oregano and a little tiny bit of garlic to the sauce, to the tomato paste sauce, it's perfect pizza sauce. All right, guys. Here we go. See, it's just basic bread mix. That's all it is. The wheat flour, white flour. Here, I'm going to read the ingredients for you. Whole wheat flour, refinery syrup, honey, shortening powder that is the thrive life shortening powder um sodium cassonate mono uh digla oh i'm horrible at pronouncing these big funny words um skim milk salt wheat gluten whole egg egg yolks egg whites um, glucose removed for stability. Um, wheat flour, calcium sulfate, and 2% of enzymes. Those are, um, like fat enzymes, I believe. Not 100% sure. Um, and of course, all of them give you warnings like caution, wheat, eggs, milk, and soy. And then it says processed in a factory that also handles tree nut products. Now the way you make it is you get your dough mix. Um, just add yeast and water. Oh, usage suggestions. Preparation instructions. Here we go. Um, one and a quarter cup warm water to mixer with dough hook. Add one packet of Thrive Life instant yeast or two and a half teaspoons of dry powdered yeast and slowly add four cups dough mix, scraping bowl occasionally. Knead for five minutes on medium speed or until gluten is formed. Now, and then you form into a smooth dough cover, um, let rise 40 minutes. And then, of course, you punch it down, and then you put it in a loaf pan. And then you let it rise again for about an hour. And then you bake it on 350 for 30 to 35 minutes. Now, it even says on the back here, you can make pizza dough. And that's what we use it for. We absolutely love it for the pizza dough. Now, I will say that one thing I have discovered about this is if you add... Um, a tablespoon of oil, it makes the dough um, more um, elastic, um, more stretchable, um, 
it adds a deeper thicker richer texture to it so I suggest that you when you make the dough mix um because we've made it for the pizza dough we've made it for whole wheat rolls and we've made it for cinnamon rolls and we've discovered that our favorite is the pizza dough um so for pizza dough I highly highly recommend adding a tablespoon of oil all right you guys one more closer look um, just a reminder that if you buy the Thrive Life whole wheat mix you do have to have um sorry guys I got distracted by my blinking battery light if you buy the Thrive Life uh, dough mixes you do have to have yeast around to help uh, with the rising because it has to have yeast in it this dough mix is only the flour and the shortening and the eggs and all that stuff it has to have yeast and water added all right guys thanks for coming along on this closer look um, I hope I gave you several different ideas on what to do with it if you like this video, leave me a thumbs up and a comment down below on anything else you'd like to see me take a closer look at. Alright guys, we'll see you in the next one. And remember, stay positive. Bye. Pizza dough. You've got to try it.